Hey guys, uh, Tyson here from Remin and Ram, and Alana's behind the camera. Um, we've been getting a lot of questions on our power plant and um, C zone. A lot of people want to ask us reviews, how we like it, is it worth it, everything like that. So we thought we would do a video this week and just um, give you a rundown on the products that we're using, mainly, uh, especially the C zone, and how we like it so far in using it. Anyway, we'll jump across here to the C zone. Um, this is what they call the favorites page. So the, along the top you can see where uh, camp mode is currently highlighted but you also have night mode, sleep mode, travel mode and storage mode. For instance camp mode we've got it set up that uh, everything pretty much turns on. Um, all the lights are on, the fridge is on, um, yeah everything turns on minus the caravan because it's not needed for camping. Storage mode everything turns off, travel mode everything off except for fridge um, and the caravan automatically turns on. Um, however, you can uh, program that to how you want it for sleep mode, night mode, all the different modes. Um, you can also see uh, quick and easy there, interior lights, so we can turn them all on or off um, and up or down there. Um, and then what is on our favorites page is bathroom lights, bunk lights, lounge, um, sorry, lounge strip, water pump, fridge, main power and lithium. We love it, um, and as well water tanks. As you can see, our water tank's pretty low at the moment. We just got back from a weekend um, away at Kenilworth. So I'll just quickly show you like power. We can go into the power quick and easy. We can see that we're draining 9.2 amps and we have uh, 891 amp hours remaining, which is three days and 20, 23 hours. And then we can click back here, it comes back to here. Lights, love this little feature. You tap the light, the light turns off as you can see mine has got a little bit darker on the screen because the uh, lounge strip lights is turned off we tap it again they turn on but I'll wait for it to load say um, we go to the lounge lights so the down lights if we hold it we can now dim the lights to whatever percentage we need to dim it to um, and that's pretty much our favorites page um, of course yeah water tank and fridge on and off then we go up to uh, three little lines here, we've got modes, so in there it takes you to the modes, what's active, what's not. Control, so in control we have... Ooh. Sorry about that. In control, we have every individual item that is switched. From the outside lights, the rear work lights, everything. And once again, the same up, down, hold for dimming, and everything like that. Plus, if you look here... Ooh. If you look here, the lounge strip light, it's using 1.5 amps. So it also tells us how many amps each item is using at the time of it being on, which is awesome for, for monitoring. So say, we'll go back there quickly. Say if you wanted to go, oh, yep, we need to drop the power consumption. So we'll turn the lounge lights off. Now we're saving that amount of power. But if we want them on, yep, we just turn them back on. Nice and simple. Uh, monitoring so in monitoring it's got all our water tanks it's got all our power um, that one's pretty simple it tells it tells you yeah you you can read what you're looking at there and our water tanks there it tells you the percentage if you hit on a tank over here it shows you the percentage it shows you the level in literage because you put the manually put the capacity in there so you can actually tell how many liters you're using which is awesome Especially if you want to be a little bit of a Nazi when you're off grid and make sure the missus doesn't take long showers. Um, alarms. So you can set up alarms for low power, low water, um, or any other little important things. And then in settings, this is where it's like the brains of it really. Um, I don't know too much about this side of the part of it, so I'm not going to go on like I do. Um, other than what you can see there, you've got the software, you can check what software you've got if you need to update it, um, display sound and, and everything like that. So I'll, I'll just put it back to the favorites page there and we will jump over to this, uh, over here up in our cupboard. We have the, I suppose the big, big brain of the unit. We'll take that cover off. And you can see along here, we have all the fuses. Um, you can also see up the top here, all the LED indicators. And then like a little legend here for the LED indicators, which um, shows you like if it's five times red, it means no modules detected. If it's solid green, which they are now, the channel is on and so forth and so forth. It also shows you how to do a manual fuse bypass and if you've uh, labeled them. Um, that's pretty much 
it once again there. Um, I'm not going to harp on with things I don't really know too much about other than the fact that of course your fuses, your lights and how you'd bypass it if you need to bypass it. Um, that is also our Enerdrive inverter on off um, and then the AC switch. Also have a little um, switch panel that is beside our bed down there which Alana will quickly show you through. Um, pretty much that there is Say you set one of your switches to all the outside lighting and you're in bed at night time and you hear someone rustling outside or someone trying to jimmy open your um, your toolbox or something like that, bang, you hit one button, all the lights around your van that you have fitted to your van turn on at a switch of one button. You don't have to get up, you don't have to do anything, it's all just there. You can also do pretty much whatever you want, but you could do your toilet light, um, your kids light, your outside, pretty much you name it. You can program it to however you want it. And um, yeah, that, that, I love that little function, especially being there in bed that we can literally just hit the button if we need to. Uh, I'll also say, um, one thing I thought that I would be annoyed about with the C-Zone is the fact that the light switches aren't in the individual rooms, but you quickly get used to that. Like, I'll just come in and make sure I turn it on before I go into the bathroom, or if Tyson's in bed, I'll get him to turn it on or whatever. So it's not as annoying as I thought it would be, and it's like, it's totally fine now so yeah, yeah. 100 yeah. i thought that would be a little bit annoying too to start with but I find it really good actually it's, it's kind of nice not having little switches and, and this stuff everywhere it's nice and neat um anyway we'll jump down here to the uh Enerdrive package that we've got um in this package we are running dual dc to dc so we have one here and then one up here on the side um that gives us the possible uh 80 amps of charging whilst driving. Yes, the uh, the Enerdrive DC to DC chargers can pump out more than 40. So yeah, you're getting that 80 to 100 amps whilst you're driving. Um, and then we have two MM MPPT solar controllers from Enerdrive. They're both 40 amp each because we're running eight panels on the roof. We have eight 200 watt panels, four running for each one. And then we also actually have uh, solar connections outside so we can hook in um, folding panels if we need to. This big bad boy up here, that is the 100 amp AC charger. We put that in just in case we ever needed it. However, with the amount of solar and the amount of uh, battery we've got here, I don't think we will. And then down there is your standard breakers and fuses and everything like that and shunts and all that. Over here, we have one of our 300 amp hours, which we're running three in this setup. So we have a total of 900. Um, and then just at the back there is our 2600 watt inverter, um, which is currently performing and running our aircon and yeah the inverter is just running the aircon at the moment but we have aircon lights everything running and it's drawing minimal power which i absolutely love under the bed here oh, we had the other two 300s um as they're so big and we have so much in the actual setup we put the batteries over here out of the way and then that's our um our diesel hot water and that and, and heating, heating system yeah. that we'll do a review on later on but yeah so at the, I'll just close this. But yeah, that's our um, that's our power setup and C zone. Um, I, I wanted to show you the basics on the C zone just because we've had a lot of people ask us. I'm not going to lie, I'm not a not a professional, I'm not a subject matter expert by any means. Um, however, we might try and do a video with the subject matter experts on it if we can get them. Um, but if not, let us, um, uh, sorry, let us know any questions, any questions that if we manage to get, uh, Dave or Remy or Matt in for a video, what we can throw to them for you guys that we didn't cover on either the C-Zone itself or any of the, uh, Enerdrive products we've got there and, um, we'll, we'll endeavor to get them answered. Anyway, guys, I hope this was informative and I hope it helps you, um, to make a decision or to get any of these products. We absolutely love them so far. They've been awesome. Um, so yeah, if you, if you like this video, we'd love it if you could like, um, like it, subscribe to the channel and, um, yeah, we'll hopefully get some more informative videos out, uh, in the next couple of months whilst we're gearing up for our full-time travels. Anyway, guys, enjoy.